Melinda Clark, Alan Dale, Kelly Rowan, Peter Gallagher, all hanging out. The parents on the ocean. Now, you guys, uh, seasoned pros, uh, <laughs> anything you've learned from the younger cast on this show? Um, seasoning's good. <laughs> <laughs> but but do, you, do you look at yourself as, as, as mentors, as advice givers, as no, counselors no, at all? No. no. Everybody on the same level? I don't no. think we no, really I, think of them as, I think we all feel like we're colleagues in a wonderful show and we're very lucky to be on it, you know? Yeah, and we're all yeah. just doing the best we can. And we, I'd learn as much from them. Let's bring, let's bring them out. A year ago, the OC was just a seaside county in California. Now, it is the home of Love Triangles, Brawls, and the hottest young actors around. Don't you wish you went to high school with them? It's Misha Barton, Adam Brody, Rachel Burton. I want to clear up something. Yes, It'll sir. only take 10 yes, seconds. Sir. There's a poster up there that said happy birthday. Hey, how are you? Um, yeah, but it's in December, and it's wrong on the internet, and I got well, some this is... birthday messages and that was said it was in April. Don't say that, because you got a lot of presents, and now you can have like two times of presents. I'm not giving the DVD player I got from Fox back. But... So you, your, your birthday is in December? Yeah. It's okay. wrong on, computer, on the internet. If I was more uh, computer savvy, I would go change it, but... Are you, are, you a, are you a Capricorn the end of December, or...? I believe they call us the Sagittarius. You're Sagittarius. So you're, you're in the middle or earlier in December? Middle. Exactly. middle. What's the date? So we all have it marked down in our Blackberries. 14th to 17th. Right, so in, that, right in that area there, that long weekend. Uh, well, thanks for coming. Great to see all of you. Congratulations on the success of this series. Um, how, how about first impressions when you all met? It's, it's the first day on the set. You get the job. You're reporting for work. What did you think of each other, Misha? <laughs> I don't know. I totally didn't know what to expect. I mean, I think the first people I met were Adam, and I didn't even know if Adam was like a cast member. I walked in, I was literally like, <laughs> you know, I didn't know anybody, but he was really nice, actually. We ended up talking, and then Ben, I don't know, was nothing like I expected him to look for that role, because I think it was and in a kind of cool way, actually, because he doesn't look like the quintessential bad boy. So they had to explain to me who Ben was and stuff. And then Rachel, I remember when I first met her, they were like, Okay, guys, go be best friends. You know, like, oh. Yeah, exactly. We, were like, we, had we didn't know what to say to each other for like five minutes. We're like, hey, hey, we're I talking? Remember you were very okay. polite to me. And the first, out of almost everyone, we, we all met first at Table Read. And you said, hi, I'm Misha. And you just threw your hand out there. And I was very polite. And then Rachel, I knew actually, there's some mutual friends for a while. So I said, Oh, I guess you got the part. What's up? Yeah. How are you? And I thought, <laughs> you'd be blonde. That's the only difference. Right, they thought I'd be blonde, a little taller, a little bigger booze, but you know, it worked out, so it's okay. What is it like for this group when you're at work? We're one big We're happy really family, lucky. I think. Yeah. 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 We all got along really well. There's a lot of people. I love you, you. Do you, do you find that um, they are protective of you because they're they're playing the roles of parents and they, they jump into that in, in real life as well? We're protective of them, no. actually. Really? No. no. <laughs> I'm not when we're at the club. Like, yeah, that right. <laughs> no, I think so. I think a little bit. They're always uh, have, getting our backs. But then we help them, too, you know. Sometimes I help Tate with his hair because it's looking a little... <laughs> not Tate Donovan? Cool. Yeah. Sometimes he needs to be a little messed up. So but we got their backs, too. Do you... Do you realize what's happening around you and, and say to yourselves, gosh, this is, I mean, this is great. This is a once in a lifetime. This is a rare thing for people to experience and to happen to a, an actor and a group of actors. Peter reminds me of that every day. Really? What, what, do you, exact, what do you say? I get that exact speech is every it? day. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this show is awesome. But, what do you, but seriously, what do, you, what do you say? Well, I say, you know, this might be as good as it ever gets. This is a miraculous time, you know, that you can't, you, as, as much as you might know why, think you know why something succeeds, there are a million reasons why it actually succeeds, and most of them have nothing to do with us. You know, that we are part of telling a story at the right time, it's a good story to tell, and you'd be a complete idiot to not appreciate it while it's happening and then spend the rest of your life looking back and thinking, oh, I wish I'd known it was really good. You know, but I... <laughs> Enjoy the ride, you know? Yeah. I know, I know. I do, I do say that, but I don't have to. 
you know, real, I say it just because I, I mean, I try to keep my mouth shut most of the time, but it's just such, it's an unusual thing when you have something that works. The, um, the you know, the, the press loves to write about this show. The, the tabloids love to follow, certainly your personal lives. Does that freak you out a little bit? Is that something that, uh, that bothers you, or do you figure, hey, I got into this line of work, it's something I'm going to deal with? I, Misha, go. <laughs> I don't know. I think it definitely comes with the job. It's not fun. I think all of us have experienced it to some extent, and you know, it can be annoying after a while. But then it would be silly to get aggravated by it so early on. I mean, we're so lucky, and mm -hmm. we all love our jobs. And so, I mean, it really is true that when you get into this line of work, it comes you want the well, you want attention. You want attention. Oh, Otherwise, well, you're not. It's, 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 for it's the a right reason. Event. Yeah, you want to be recognized for your work. But well, that's what I'm saying. You want, you want eyes to watch you, you want ears to listen to what you're saying, yeah, you, you want, sure. you want people to pay attention yeah. to your work. Right. And, right. and part of what comes with that is this, well, this interesting right. dynamic where we, we spend an evening with you and we feel like we know you, <laughs> which is your character, and then we're obsessed now to find out who you really are. Right. Yeah. You know? Well. And listen, I can't blame. Do you understand, do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, totally. I can't blame, but I mean, I, you know, flipped through Us Weekly, too, and I'm like, oh, my God, no way. And so it's <laughs> like, I can't say that, like, I blame anyone or it's so juvenile. I mean, I get it. I get that fascination with it, but you just got to try and well, what about out. what about the Us Weekly article that talks about the two of you shopping for a home <laughs> together? That would be awesome. I'm only comfortable like, talking wow. about Misha's uh, personal life. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she gets right. So if you have any yeah. questions about her, Wonderful. you'll answer them. You'll course. answer those? Is, no is it true that you guys are an item off screen? No, we're all an item. <laughs> well, that's we an are. even bigger story. <laughs> and we are. We are? Yeah. We are? Yeah. See, yeah. yeah. This is news yeah. to Peter and his family. Really? Yeah. I'm having a much better time than I thought. <laughs> I think the tablets are annoying when it's untrue. Well, they print things we've that all are experienced. I mean, look, I had to deal with reading that I was engaged <laughs> over the last couple of weeks, and it's certainly There's not true. Me. Congratulations. You know? yeah. Yeah. Oh, my it's God. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's just one of those things that, that, that comes with the yeah, territory. You, just yeah, have to go. Okay. you know? Whatever. So, is it true? Are you guys together or not? <laughs> um, Ryan. All, well, if you're engaged. Uh, you know, as true as your engagement. <laughs> okay, well, then that. That answers the question for Here me, and the go. audience is silent waiting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. Sorry. That's okay. Up next, Benjamin McKenzie is not able to be here today, but the fan cam caught up with him last night. That's coming up right after this. We'll be right back with the cast of the OC. Later, secrets from the set of the OC. September 1927, Philo T. Farnsworth sends the first television signal. Ah. June 2004, television's second revolution is about to begin. Rock and roll! What's that? What's that? This man's life we're talking about here. Fox launches the new fall season. Not in September, hey, 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 hey. but in June. The revolution begins this June only on Fox. in the market for minimum coverage, we're pretty hard to resist. Safe Auto! 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. Minimum coverage for minimum budgets. Hello, I'm Gino. Michalina was my mother. I'm so sure that you love our new Michalina's hot subs. We now have a bonus pack. You get three hot subs for the price of two. Once you try these Michalina's hot subs and these little golden loaves of oven-baked bread with 15 delicious fillings, you won't go back to Hot Pockets. Michalina's hot subs, they're simply a better microwavable sandwich. Try our bonus pack. Seeing is believing at iMasters, where you can get two complete pairs of glasses for just $99. Choose from hundreds of frames in all the latest styles, or get two complete pairs of bifocals for only $149. At iMasters, why pay more? The bad boys from Boston are back. Best 
rock and roll. June 28th at Blossom Music Center. Tickets are on sale now. Produced by House of Blues Concerts. Too long. Talking to a boat, sir. Yeah, I talked to a plastic horse too, but that never worries anyone. Worried me. Hey, I forgot about this. This compass is gonna lead me all the way to Tahiti. Yeah, whatever happened to that big plane to sail to Tahiti? Well, you showed up, man. Suddenly, I had much less reason to flee. Well, oh, Newport became kind of uh, kind of all right. the cast at the OC, hanging out upstairs. Back with them in just a second. But first, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fan Cam. Yeah. Now, we sent the Fan Cam out on a special OC assignment. One lucky fan got to catch up with Benjamin McKenzie, a.k.a. Ryan. At the show's rap party, this super fan never misses an episode and insists that every 30-year-old woman must think that Benjamin McKenzie is totally hot. Uh, we knew Courtney Panic would love the chance to get up close and personal with Ben and the rest of the cast, so Rosanna Tavares surprised her with the fan cam right here at Hollywood and Highland. Here's how it all went down. Take a look. <laughs> All right, kids, inside of Sephora is the OC super fan. Her name's Courtney, and her friend Mandy's actually in on this whole thing. She's, like, bringing her to shop here. So let's go inside. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. We're doing a story on makeup for Honor with Ryan Seacrest, mm -hmm. and I saw you guys were looking in here, so I was just wondering yeah, we were looking at the new why Jessica you were gravitating Simpson. towards this. What's that? We were doing the new Jessica Simpson stuff. Yeah, yeah Jessica it, Simpson so. from the reality show. Yes. yes. So. I'm just wondering, like, what your favorite TV show is I mean, now that we're talking. Um, I would have to say probably the OC, which comes on tomorrow night. Oh, the OC. That's really freaky because tonight's their rap party. Huh? Tonight's their rap party, so I thought maybe it'd be really cool, like, to send you there. <laughs> You're kidding me. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the fan cam. And here's the fan cam. We'll get you made up. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna get to go tonight, you'll get to interview them, you'll get to hang out with them. Oh, it's gonna be really, really cool for you. Oh my gosh, this is... Okay, can I tell you that I've never won anything in my entire life? And this is like... So this is so cool for yeah. you! And I'm not gonna cry. Oh no! <laughs> Your friend Mandy was in on this whole thing, by the way. Oh! You are the best. Oh, you're more than welcome. Let's have a group yeah. hug moment. Yeah. So, who do you want to talk to the most, by the way? Benjamin McKinsey, because I'm from Houston, Texas, and he's from Austin, and um, I just I just think he's really cool. He's really real. <sighs> that is so cool. <laughs> What's going on? I'm Courtney. <laughs> and super fan from Ryan Seacrest Show. Hey Rachel, what are your plans for the summer? I mean, are you doing any movies or? No, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing. My main reason for being here is just check out you guys and see how the show's going and big Ben McKenzie fan, so. Are you? Yeah. He is, he is tantalizingly close right now. Did you see him down there? Yes, I did. He's I went, speaking. Ooh, I see Ben. Yes. <laughs> Ben, I'm Courtney. Hi, I'm Courtney. the super fan. Yes, I'm. <laughs> I was surprised earlier today and getting confused. I'm not gonna cry again. Okay. Um, you cried earlier? Yes, I did. Nothing ever happens for me, and I got to oh, come out here. Oh, don't say that. Look at yeah. you. You're here. You're on my carpet. Guess what? I'm also a fellow Texan. Are you? Are you really? Where are you from? I'm from Houston. Um. Oh, let me just take you. <laughs> sure, sure. Calm down, calm down. It's all, it's all um, family, it's all friends. I think you're adorable. Oh, thank you. um, I think so, you're adorable. Oh my oh, God. Thank you. Even if you've got a date tonight, can I steal you away for a little while? <laughs> I'll save you a date. Got it. Two step. Oh, it's it's just awesome to meet you. Uh, thank you nice so to much. Meet you. Thank you. I just 
I gotta take some deep breaths because um, I just hugged Benjamin McKenzie. And um, yeah, okay. So uh, yeah, Ryan, you're Ryan, you're so awesome to let me do this. This is so cool. Thank you again. <laughs> That's a tearjerker <laughs> fan cam assignment, man. You got us all worked up. So when, when you first showed up to the red carpet, what did it feel like? I mean, you, you see the paparazzi there, you see the stars file in, and then your man is on approach. What was that like? Mind-boggling. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was just unbelievable. It was the time of my life, and I, I really, I mean, I'm speechless. I had the best time in the world. <laughs> when, when, when you thought about what you were going to do later that day, did you sort of rehearse your questions, and then you get there in the moment, and it's like brain freeze? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's why I was like, uh, calm, take a deep breath. Is so. he anything like Ryan, his character on the OC? No. N yes and no. The He's not the rebellious, but he's so sweet and so caring. The rest of the night when I got to see him, I got hugs and... He was just really down to earth, and that's the best thing of all. Well, thanks for doing that. Great job. One oh, more hug. Not a problem. That was fun. Glad to send you out there. Courtney Pettick, find out what the cast really thinks about each other. The O Secrets, next, right after this. Coming up, we turn the OC cast over to the fans. Oh, Father, your arm is shaking. You hit me in my chest. Ah, my son, God moves in mysterious <laughs> ways. Your arrows move in mysterious ways too, Father. Have a Red Bull. Kill a bull? Are you mad? Red Bull! Liquid stimulation for your body. You mean it will st st steady my hand? And your mind. So, what you're saying is, the arrow isn't flying to the apple. Don't shoot the apple when it's on your head. Shoot the apple and then put it on your head. Brilliant! Red Bull gives you wings! Whoa! Or not. Skintimate? Or still hurting those legs with your razor and soap? Hey, there's Skintimate Shave Gel in New Spring Lilies and Appleberry Crush. Two great fragrances with plenty of moisturizers to protect those legs. So, Skintimate Spring Lilies or Appleberry Crush? Spring Lilies or Appleberry Crush? Come on, get Skintimate with your legs. June 16th, Paris and Nicole are back for the biggest road trip ever. Go right. No, 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 no. Left. Go that way. Well, at least that's the plan. Go right left. left. I mean, yeah. Okay, no. keep coming back. Left. The other way. The Simple Life 2 Road Trip. They're taking over America one small town at a time. <laughs> Wednesday, June 16th on Fox. Live from Charlotte, Johnson and Earnhardt Jr. bump and grind for the series lead. The Coca-Cola 600, Sunday on Fox. Come to Kohl's Memorial Day Bonus Buy Sale and get a $10 reward for every $50 you spend this Thursday through Saturday. Plus, get great bonus buys throughout the store, like 40 to 50% off tees for the family and 40 to 50% off all Speedo swimwear and accessories. All sandals for the family are on sale, too, from Dockers, Mud, Keds, and more. Plus, this grilling set is just $18.99. And remember, you'll get a $10 reward for every $50 you spend. Think brands, think value, think ease. Think Kohl's Memorial Day Bonus Buy Sale Thursday through Saturday. Now give your style some pow with Herbal Essences styling products. Bursting with pansies, rose hips, and wild cherry bark. Use Herbal Essences spray gel for super scrunch. Max hold mousse for intense chunks. Get any look you want, except that one. And now try Herbal Essences new Max Hold gel and mousse for curls. Herbal Essences styling products, style with pow. Hi, I'm Lou, and I've been installing windows for Regency for over 10 years, and I'm going to get it right the first time. Replacement windows can beautify your home and save you hundreds of dollars on heating and cooling, but a quality window only works when it's installed properly. I only hire the best certified installer. They insulate the windows, they take the old windows out. We were very pleased with them, and they were very nice. Right now, 
get Regency's Value Plus window professionally installed for only $169. I'm going to save you a lot of money. Well, it sounds to me like Ryan and Marissa won't be doing much because of three little words Ryan couldn't say. What's the Frosted Flakes? It's four. I love you. Shut up. Ryan, Marissa said that to you? Okay, what'd you say? Thank you. Well, guess we'll be staying in tonight. All right, welcome back. Lots more with the cast of the OC coming up. Your questions for the OC cast. But first, what we're going to do is uh, a little something that, what do we call Oh, we're calling it OC secrets. all right? You know, yes. I guess it wasn't as funny as we thought in the meeting. <laughs> Um, there are always secrets, you know, on, on the sets of these different television shows. Uh, I figured I'll address these and then you can hold up the, uh, the person that makes the most sense after this question is asked, all right? <laughs> who is, you show up early for work, long shooting days, who is the crankiest in the morning? Oh, I know this one. Feel free <laughs> to pick the castmate of your choice. Right. Wait, I don't... And He's not here. They're, 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 but they're not all right, there. so Benjamin McKenzie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, um, <laughs> Wow, it's true. <laughs> well, there you go, ladies. Are you going to hold that yeah, name? I'm going to hold that There's you or Ben. It's I was going to hold up Ben. Am yeah, Ben really. Ben's not in here, so okay. this means Ben. Ben. Okay. Ben. Ben. <laughs> ben or well, maybe you could do the look to Ben. Right. Right. You can be Ben. This is... You can be Ryan. Okay, let me... Uh, the character Ryan, doesn't he always have a look like yes. it's like... Uh... Yeah, it's a definitely... Yeah! Yeah! yeah. It's like, right? I, I don't know quite what he's thinking when he's doing that look, but it really is yeah. choreographed. Yeah, I full think of he knows what he's thinking. Either. Right? Yeah. Um, and I also have to have on a long sleeve shirt and a t-shirt over it to really be that character. <laughs> uh, all right, who spends the most time at the craft service table? Oh, most time snacking. <laughs> all right, Benjamin McKenzie. No, no, no. Uh, Tate. Tate yeah. Donovan, yeah. of course. I'm going to have to say Tate Rachel. Tate's a lot. Because yeah, he, he spends so much time Okay, then I'm going to say me. You say me. That's usually he's busy doing triathlon. I'm going to say Rachel. <laughs> well, it looks like we have. Uh, yeah, Misha actually likes that pasta. A lot of a lot. all right, a lot of Rachel, a lot of Rachel. What is it that? What's your snack when you're at work? I like donuts. I like donuts. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. So, the the we natural. Do, we have Krispy Kreme like every day. It's kind we of do. Bad, but it's so good. Krispy Kreme. We're beginning to hate you. You can eat like that and look the way you look in those jeans. Um, Wait, you noticed? Who's not that I noticed at all? Um, <laughs> I want those jeans for myself. Who spends the most time on the cell phone? Okay, ready? ready? Reveal, please, yes? <laughs> Who's the winner? Uh, I think Misha's the winner. Adam, Misha, Misha yes. you always with your phone. That's three what? Misha. <laughs> three Misha's. Three Misha's versus Misha, who is it that you're talking to on the cell all the time? Probably, like, my little sister or my friends in New York. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Is it something where, where you break it out right in between scenes? They're always like, Misha, please, we need to wrap the call so we can get on with it. <laughs> no, definitely not. No, not, not. at all. No. Not a distraction. I'll have it if we're stopping, but not like in between takes. You know, people are like, oh, we're cutting? Great. But I'm you know, you have to phone. think about it this way. They're at the, that's their office, so that's like your office phone. Because when you're on the set, it's like being in your office, so you got to make calls. You gotta make calls. <laughs> yeah. oh, my God. Um, <laughs> who's, uh, let's see, who's most likely to demand a spin-off? <laughs> to demand a spin-off? A spin-off series. <laughs> You mean to just get off entirely or a spin-off? No, a a, a spin-off at, at some me. point. Oh my God. Who yeah, wants right. a spin-off for us? One, two, three. Alan, go, Alan, yeah. You and Alan get Alan. There's Peter. All right, Alan. Okay, Unanimous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, here's a good one. You know, before the show, everybody's got to, uh, got to get ready. You've got to get into character, put on your wardrobe, put on your face, do your hair. Who spends more time in makeup? Is it... The female cast or Peter's eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like it's the first time anybody's ever said anything about those. <laughs> Kelly, is there a story you'd like to share? <laughs> <laughs> Something. <laughs> no, I was laughing with something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. She was a little laughing about the misguided joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's just kidding. You didn't ask him to say. 
Well, that's what I was laughing about. I know. Because <laughs> I saw them flip their, uh, their things, and so it was funny. So we that. have Melinda. You're holding up yourself. Oh, it she takes knows. forever to become she Julie. Knows. It does. <laughs> What's the most difficult part? It looks like your, your hair color is a bit different. <laughs> I've been a guinea pig this year. <laughs> well, they just keep trying different looks? Yeah, it's like an accessory, just like, like a change of a... See if you can spot Julie Cooper. <laughs> right. Well, there she is. It's She's blue. The one with the orange hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, but it's fine, right? You're fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, you enjoy it. Yeah. That's enjoy Julie. Julie, yeah. I've yes. seen you look pretty in many hairstyles. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, not hard. On that heartfelt moment, let's take a break. We'll come back with the audience questions, fan questions with the cast of the OC right after this. Next week on air, new mom and star of the upcoming comedy Raising Helen, Kate Hudson, plus performances by Dido and Five for Fighting. Introducing the totally redesigned Kia Spectra. The only car in its class with six airbags, a 10-year warranty, and at around 13,000, it's a car you can afford to love. Now get $1,000 cash back, plus $1,000 competitive bonus for qualified buyers. It's not often you see a famous TV star and coach, but when you do, it's fun to tell somebody, discreetly without me knowing. So, you send a text message. Like this guy here. Guess you're texting Saul Famous TV star, huh? No, actually I'm texting my friends to meet me in baggage claim. Where's the star? Right now, get your first month of unlimited text messaging when you sign up for any text plan. Is he in first class? So come into an AT&T wireless store today. Closed captioning for On Air with Ryan Seacrest, brought to you by... So who's going to help clear the table? Come on, guys. That's OK. I'll clean up. Now apply the same idea to your pans. Line them with Reynolds Wrap Heavy Duty Foil. Foods don't touch the pan, so you don't have to clean. Think she'll do my room? Reynolds Wrap Heavy Duty Foil. And for sticky foods, line with Release Non-Stick Foil. Hey folks, we're here with the Nelsons to make over their home. Now let's get to work. The easiest way to upgrade your home is to call for Time Warner Digital Cable and Roadrunner High Speed Online. It's always on connection is up to twice as fast as DSL's standard package and up to 70 times faster than dial-up. With Digital Cable with DVR, you can record your favorite shows and watch them on your schedule. Try Roadrunner today for just $29.95 per month for six months. Call now. Call today for Time Warner Digital Cable and Roadrunner High Speed Online. Hello, I'm Gino. Michalina was my mother, and boy, could she cook. These are our new Michalina's hot subs. Little golden loaves of oven-baked bread with 15 delicious fillings. And these, these are Nestle's hot pockets. Now, I'm not sure who Nestle's mother was, but I don't think she knew how to cook. Try Michalina's hot subs. Simply a better microwavable sandwich. You have my word on it, and my mother's. of the OC and now I'm joined by two of the newest cast members, Navi Rawat, who plays Ryan's old flame, Teresa from Chino, and Amanda Rigetti, who plays Kirsten's younger sister, Haley. Welcome to the show. So, you know, we, we've been talking about this ride that is the OC. How has it been for you to be a part of this show? It's been great. A lot of, I like the cast. It's, it's the first time I've been a part of a cast where there's a lot of young cast members, so that's been quite enjoyable. Did, did you, now, when you came on to this show, was it already on the air? Yes. Yeah. It was already on the air. So this is something that you could watch at home and say, I want to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Did that happen for you? 
Yeah, it me it did. It did? Yeah. So that's an unbelievably rare thing that happens to an actor where you watch a television show and say, I want to do it, then you go into the audition and you get a role on it. How excited were you when you found out you were going to be on the show? I was really excited. It was sort of like deja vu because when you walk on the set, it's like, oh, this is so familiar to me. Mm -hmm. You know? So speaking of it, I, the, the house, the pool, is the pool real or is the, is the infinity pool real? Yeah. Like when you're outside by the pool, you're really outside yeah. by the yeah, pool? Yeah, no, you're inside like by the pool. Oh, so you're inside by the pool. But it looks but like you're outside by the pool. Right. right. Yeah. But it's a real pool. But it's a real, it's a real pool. Yeah. It's a real pool being put inside feet. to make it look like it's an outside pool that's real. Yeah, but it's three right. feet deep. So it's not like jumping. It's only three feet yeah. deep because yeah. nobody can swim. But it that's keeps, right. yeah, that's why. Yeah. Adam right. can't swim. Next season, though. it may Short be five feet deep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have a bunch of fan questions. Let's start with uh, a text message here from the at t Wireless subscribers. Simone in Seattle, Washington asks, what do you do in your downtime? A little bit of a hiatus for the cast members of the OC. Who's got big plans for the hiatus? Who wants that one? Well, we're doing Ryan Seacrest, man. We're here. Yeah, there you go. You're doing the Ryan Seacrest program, which lasts all of, <laughs> all of an hour. Let's go to one of these emails. Jessica from St. Paul, Minnesota. Is there anything you won't do on the show? So in terms of, I guess, storyline or any of the more intimate scenes, anybody... Uh, Human sacrifice. Human sacrifice, Peter <laughs> yeah. Gallagher won't do it. Cannibalism? <laughs> Never. Are, are there storylines that come up that you say, you know, I don't want to do that? Uh, I won't eat veal on this show. <laughs> you won't eat veal? Nothing, nothing, eat veal? No, uh, nothing is, yeah, nothing's come, come up. Nothing safe. Do whatever. I do will not have sex with my daughter's ex-boyfriend. Well, there you go. That's... <laughs> where is, uh, where is Jennifer Lease? Jennifer Lease. All right, I'm going to do a little Donahue. Here, let me borrow your microphone there, Josh. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Jennifer, Rain Seacrest, welcome to the show, the cast of the OC. You know the deal. So, you have a question for anybody? Well, uh, first I want to say we're from the OC. Oh, okay. Um, these are my three daughters. Welcome. Number one Adam Brody fan right here, okay? Um, I just wanted to um, say, first of all, great scripts, very mm -hmm. realistic, okay? Um, and I'm actually married to a Newport Beach attorney. So, what do you do, Peter, for research? Oh, well, <clears throat> there was, um, At one time, uh, no, no, before I, before I came out, I hung out with uh, a public defender in New York who was a public, in the public defender's office for 15 years, Jeremy Schneider, who is uh, a really committed and devoted uh, to the notion of justice and a balanced legal system. He was in the public defender's office for 15 years, and now he's a criminal defense attorney, and so I was hanging out with him, and he was on the phone. He said, you know, the wild thing about this, all my clients are in jail. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> But um, so I, I got to know a little bit, you know, from that point of view, and uh, and it opened up a kind of a whole world for me. Oh, well, I appreciate you showing uh, a nice attorney in Newport Beach. Thank you. Well. <laughs> Sandy, the good guy. All right, we have uh, the OC on air. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back after this. Stay with us. <laughs> Still to come, meet the real life inspiration for Seth Cohen. Don't miss Mondays, on air with Ryan Seacrest. A big week kicks off with two of the hottest stars from movies and music. Actress Kate Hudson's coming in. We'll find out how she handles motherhood and Hollywood. Plus, music sensation Dido performs right here in our studio. Mondays, on air. At The General, getting auto insurance right now is faster and easier than ever before. Just call 1-800-GENERAL or purchase your insurance online at thegeneral.com and get an instant ID card. The General is not a broker, not a middleman. You can get insured with a down payment as low as $59. Visit our website or call 1-800-GENERAL to see how low your down payment can be. For the best car insurance rates in town, call 1-800-GENERAL now! It's Mattress Matters Super Holiday Weekend Sale. Mattress Matters only opens on Sunday for special events, with a portion of this Sunday's proceeds to benefit a local charity. So save big and help us help others at the same time. Free delivery, free removal, and pay no interest for up to two years. Lowest prices guaranteed. The brands you want at prices you need from the people you can trust. Mattress Matters Holiday Weekend Sale. It's a good deed. Don't miss it. Wow, look at you. All smiles. I finally did it. I made a commitment. Oh, please, the queen of non-commitment. You who stayed on the 30-day diet for two weeks. <laughs> What's different this time? It was only a week. 
Introducing new Crest White Strips Premium, clinically proven to take off up to 14 years in just seven days for a beautifully whiter smile. Wow, a whole week. Guys, it was easy. Sorry, sir, your credit card's been declined. Are you one of the millions of Americans with $2,000 or more in credit card debt? Would you like to cut your monthly payments by as much as half? Credit Guard of America can help. Credit Guard's money management solutions even include credit counseling. They helped with my home equity loan. And my IRS problems. Whether you're current and making minimum payments, behind or about to fall behind, learn how you can achieve financial freedom with Credit Guard's free money management counseling service. We did! Pizza Fan Pizza Hotline. Okay, got it. And you're going to pick it up in 20 minutes. Hey, John, here's another pickup. So they get two pizzas, one free? Three pizzas, two free. But you just sent out a delivery with one free. Right. If we deliver, they get one free. Oh, if they pick it up, they get two free. You catch on fast. I don't know how we keep up. Hey, come on, guys. We're really getting busy out here. Pizza Pan, original home of the free pizza. Also features specialty pizzas, calzones, strombolis, and lots of other good things. Call now. Oh. Mm. Uh, hey, you're not at school. Yeah, we were at the doctor's office. Is everything okay? Hmm? Yeah, it's fine. I'm pregnant. Well, except for that. Welcome back. Just a little bit of what you're going to see on the season finale of Wednesday's The O.C. Got the cast upstairs. And joining me is the creator, writer, and the big boss of The O.C., Josh Schwartz. Great to have you with us, man. Hello. Use that so they can hear you. That's what this is for. Got it. Okay. So you are, are the youngest person to ever create an hour-long drama like this. Is that true? That's what they tell me. That's fantastic. Thanks. Now, are, are you still amazed at, at how this thing has exploded? Absolutely. Uh, you know, when we premiered in August, we had no idea if anyone was going to watch. And it's been beyond, I think, anyone's wildest dreams. Well, when did you come up with this? What was the, uh, the, the, the kernel? What was the, the first idea you had before it exploded into the hour-long drama? Uh, I went to USC, uh -huh. uh, which is where a lot of Newport Beach kids are from. Right. And I was from Rhode Island. And Newport's sort of, in the OC. Newport's in the OC. Right. And I was sort of a little bit uh, uh, of an outsider, being from Rhode Island, coming to USC with all the sort of tall, blonde, athletic water polo player types. The, Difficult uh, adjustment for you. It was, it was a little tough. Yeah. And I uh, got to spend some time in their McMansions and their gated communities <laughs> where everything seemed pretty perfect at first. And then when you spent a little more time there, there were some problems, some issues, some drama. So is there a character that you are most like in the series? Uh, well, I love all my characters so of equally. Course. Yes. Of course. But, uh, <laughs> I, would and I love all the contestants equally <laughs> on American Idol. I heard that's not true. No, but, it's uh, totally uh, true. I heard you don't like Misha. Oh. oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, but I, I guess I'd have to say that sort of uh, the, the uh, ins and outs of Seth's life are, are most autobiographically based on my own. I heard a woo. We got Seth fans here. That's right. Adam Brody. And if you're a fan of the OC, you know that music is a major part of that series. Always been a big music fan? Always. And did you have any idea that you would be sitting there breaking bands? when you launched this show? No, but I always hoped that, that that would be something we could do. Uh, the kind of music I like you don't really hear on radio. Yeah. Uh, it's not really on television right now. And I always thought, well, there's great music out there. We should put it on the show and let people see it. How do you, how do you pick the acts that you're going to put into the series? Well, sometimes it's music that I've always loved, you know, stuff that's been on my iPod. Uh, we have a great music supervisor named Alex Patsavis, who's uh, brilliant. She puts together uh, a comp CD every week with like 25 new bands, which becomes like, you know, candy or whatever, you know, your right. addiction of choices. And uh, can't wait for that and sort of put that on while I'm writing and find the perfect song to go with the show. Does a, a scene ever come out of a song? Absolutely. The, uh, for instance, the, the Joseph Arthur song, Honey in the Moon, which plays at the end of the pilot when Ryan's sort of driving. I was getting ready to write the pilot, and I couldn't uh, quite figure out, you know, how to write it. And yeah. I heard this song, and I immediately knew how the show was supposed to feel at the end when I heard that song. And from that point on, I was able to write that and then go backwards and write the whole rest of the show. Very talented individual right here. Uh, he has launched Thanks. the careers of young actors, the ones upstairs. Also helped launch the musical careers of bands like Rooney. You guys like Rooney? Jim, The Doves, Spoon, and countless others. Take a look at this. If you think the cast is a who's who of who's suddenly hot, you should check out the soundtrack. The OC is a virtual pipeline of hits, introducing 10 million viewers every week to the hippest acts in music like Rooney and the Dandy Warhol. 
Musicians like Jem know that getting a song on the OC guarantees even the most indie of indie artists some major exposure. Some friends of mine like nearly fell off their chair when they heard my music on it. I'm just happy because they use music really well in the show, you know, and really feel very flattered. The band known as Phantom Planet is the perfect example of an OC success story. You might not know him by name, but recognize this? Of course you do. It's the OC's now memorable theme song. California. Rudy knew what they were doing when they canceled a concert just to be on the show earlier this season. And Rooney's maneuver paid off instantly. After their OC appearance, the band watched album sales triple. With all these great names, it should come as no surprise that the OC soundtrack released in March has already claimed number two on the top soundtracks chart. What can you expect next season? More of the same, television you can dance to. really cool what you're doing. Thanks. Helping some of these younger artists. Tell me about the contest, Enter the Mix. If you go on uh, musicfromtheoc.com, we're going to start receiving submissions from uh, new bands that can put their songs on the internet and uh, hopefully we'll find that new great song to put on the show. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. Thanks on a lot, man. Looking Thank forward you. to some real juicy stuff coming up in the OC. I think people are going to like the finale. All right. Josh Schwartz, everybody. Guess what, friends? I got more with the cast of the OC straight ahead on air. Stay with us. Nobody has more cool flips than Payless. And during our Fashion Flips weekend, buy two, get one free on flips for the whole family or anything in the store. Look smart, Payless. Pigtails got you pulling your hair out? Garnier Fruit Tea's Fortifying Shampoo. It's proven the system makes hair up to five times stronger and so much shinier. For hair that shines with all its strength, Garnier Fruit Tea's. Garnier. It was the perfect quiet neighborhood. Until Method Man and Red Man moved in. Hey, now, they're putting the urban in suburban. It's not a song. It's an X-rated nursery rhyme that objectifies women. Method and Red, premiering June 16th on Fox. Come to Kohl's Memorial Day bonus buy sale and get a $10 reward for every $50 you spend this Thursday through Saturday. Plus, get great bonus buys throughout the store, like 40 to 50% off tees for the family and 40 to 50% off all Speedo swimwear and accessories. All sandals for the family are on sale, too, from Dockers, Mud, Keds, and more. Plus, this grilling set is just $18.99. And remember, you'll get a $10 reward for every $50 you spend. Think brands, think value, think ease. Think Kohl's Memorial Day bonus buy sale Thursday through Saturday. bigger than ever. Dinosaurs at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. Max Factor presents Moisturizing lipsticks feel soft when you first put them on, but before you know it, they're gone. I'm Richard Dean, a principal makeup artist on Mona Lisa Smile. Now Max Factor's brought out new Lipfinity Everlights and a range of soft light shades. Lightweight lost in color, then a moist sheen that lasts up to 10 hours. It's a dream come true for makeup artists. Ever so soft, ever so light, and ever so long-lasting. New Lipfinity Everlights from Max Factor, the makeup of makeup artists. Fox Tonight, Ashley Judd, Greg Kinnear, Hugh Jackman in a comedy about finding love where you least expect to. Oh. Someone like you at 87 Central Tonight on Fox. Promotional consideration for On Air with Ryan Seacrest, sponsored in part by... Announcing victory over messy athletes' foot creams. With Maximum Strength Gold Bond Foot Swabs. The no mess, no touch way to cure most athletes' foot. Gold Bond Foot Swabs. 
It's Jennifer's three-piece all-leather living room package, just $11.99. An all-leather sofa, love seat, and chair with great style and seating comfort only from Jennifer. The most powerful diet pill in America, Xantrex 3. More weight loss, faster weight loss, energy to burn. Xantrex 3. Yes! 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 Xantrex 3 at Chansey and Smarter Retailers Nationwide. Yes! What are you going to do when I'm not around to make you feel better about yourself? Are you going somewhere? Maybe. Like, say, San Quentin. What the hell are you talking about? What did you think I was doing in Vegas? Well, besides flipping my restaurant for a tidy sum? I was trying to save the Newport Group. Selling that property was supposed to keep this company from going bankrupt. Well, Kirsten never said anything. Well, that's because residential real estate is our only profitable division. She doesn't know anything about the bad investments, the debts, the losses. So sell the property to somebody else. Robert Campbell can't be the only buyer in town. It doesn't mean as much to anyone else. Campbell owns the rest of the coastline. This property was the last piece of the puzzle that he was missing. So that's why you wanted us out of the restaurant so fast. Are oh, you sneaky? Not so successful, son of a... <laughs> of the OC, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the season finale this Wednesday night on Fox. And I have something, I have something for you. The new soundtrack music from the OC Mix One. Everybody in studio gets a copy of that. Tomorrow, Alicia Keys performs live. We'll see you then. See you Fred. Out. What should America's priorities be? Today I announce a new plan to explore space. We need jobs, health care, human missions to Mars, and to worlds beyond. We've got to protect Medicare. We may discover resources on the moon or Mars. Help kids go to college. That will uh, boggle the imagination. A hundred billion dollars to send a man to Mars. Human beings are headed into the cosmos. His priorities are in the wrong place. Tell President Bush our priorities are a lot closer to home.